So for this lesson, it's called the law of cosines, and um, this works for any uh, triangle. It doesn't have to be a right triangle. It can be any type of triangle. More, we use the law of cosines specifically for oblique triangles. Check it out. Here is the law of cosines. So I make sure I draw that picture, that triangle right here. This one right here, I would draw this. And see how I label it, big A, big B, big C, little A, little B, and little C, opposite. Make sure you do that. And then the uh, equation, or the formula for the law of cosines is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. And if you look, just look how these guys are related here, here, and then this stuff versus that stuff, this stuff versus that stuff, this stuff, versus that stuff. So realistically, there's three formulas. It just depends on how you draw your triangle and what you have, okay? So um, how does this work? Basically, it says label all sides and angles using standard notation. So with, with that, you can see, uh, here's P, or PRT, so across the street from uh, uh, big R is little r, across the street from big P is little, is little p, across the street from big T is little t. Okay, so that's why that works. Just be careful on how you see how this, how you use it. Now, how does it work? Solve the triangle ABC shown below. Well, what we have here is, um, we have angle B. So if we have angle B, then we're going to use the, since we have angle B, we're going to use B squared equals uh, A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times the cosine of angle B. And then you just fill in the blanks. So uh, B squared is equal to, I guess, A squared, so that's A squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5 times the cosine of 77 degrees. Now this is where you would want to have your calculator in um, degree mode. So then if we do this realistically, B is nothing more than the square root of 89 minus 80 times whatever the cosine of 77 is. So you can actually do that, and if you calculate it, you should get something around 8.4. Does that make sense? All right, try another one. Here's a different one. This one, they want us to find the angles of uh, RST as shown. So I don't have any angles whatsoever, however, um, I can pick which one I want to do. If I want to get angle R first, if I want to get angle R first, I can do this. I can use um, R squared equals S squared plus T squared minus 2ST times the cosine of angle R. And so then if I fill in this blank, so I get 90 squared equals 70 squared plus 40.5 squared minus 2 times 70 times 40.5 times the cosine of that. And then I guess that's uh, 8100 equals 4900 40 squared what is that? 1640.25 minus 5670 cosine r. All right, and then you polish all this up, you get 8100 equals 6540.25. Minus 5670 cosine r subtract, and you get basically, and then I divide, so I get 
9.75 over negative 5670. That's equal to the cosine of r. So I gotta take the r cosine of my answer and make sure you are in degrees and I think I get something like 106 degrees. So that gets me for r. Since I know that r is that, what I can do now is um, I can do the same thing, only now I'm going to do um, flip it up and try to get t, right? So do t, and when you do that, it becomes like 40.5 squared equals 70 squared plus 90 squared minus 2 times 70 times 90 times the cosine of t, right? And then that's 1640.25 equals 13,000 minus 12,600 cosine t. And then I basically do the same thing I did before, and I get this guy right here, and that's divided by negative 12600. That's a negative. That's equal to the cosine of t, so I'll take the arc cosine of whatever that answer is, and make sure you're in degrees. And so t is about 25.6. So then you can get the other angle, s, by, um, by subtraction. You know, let's do 180 minus 106 minus 25.6, and uh, figure out what angle s um, comes to be, okay? So that's those. Give you a little heads up. This is what we're gonna be doing in class. Uh, the ship I leaves port P at a rate of 16 miles per hour. The other ship leaves Q at the same port at the same time and travels 12 miles per hour. Both ships are traveling in a straight path. You're actually taking about two ships, make an angle 55 degrees. How far apart are the ships after three hours? So try to do that. And then really advanced, boom, that one right there, a factory conveyor belt that makes an angle 17 degrees with the horizontal and rises from point Q to level 1 to point S on level 2 must be replaced. A design change calls for a vertical post RT, as you can see in the picture, and dimensions as shown in the diagram below. A new conveyor belt will be needed to go from Q to R to S. What will the length of the new conveyor belt be? So that's the challenge you want to. So that's what we're going to do in class. Uh, tomorrow. So hopefully you understand this stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing you in class and uh, may the force be with you.